Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I've uh, done any kind of vlog or real life video of any sort, so uh, first I would like to give you guys an update on what my computer looks like and the setup and everything, some of the new hardware that I've got since the vid last video that I made over this sort of thing, and then when that's all uh, done and gone through, I'll give you a bit of an update on where I've been and the vacation and some videos that I took while I was on vacation and stuff. So. There's my keyboard right there. That's a Logitech G510, and it's got the RGB LEDs underneath it there, so you can do pretty much just about any color you want to do. I usually have it set to red. Uh, there's my sweet wallpaper that I just found a few da few days ago. Daft Punk is really awesome. Um, just really quick, I want to show you what my Steam profile looks like if you haven't seen it before. So if you're wanting to go on there and you can't quite find my profile for some reason, that's what it looks like if you want to check my games or my uh, play hours or anything like that and there's my list of games I added quite a bit to the collection during the summer sale I went kinda nuts I spent like a few hundred dollars I think on games but it was well worth it uh, a lot of the games I grabbed were are mostly single-player games they're gonna be mostly for like live streaming and stuff which I'm trying to do more frequently now I just recently streamed some Outlast on Twitch uh, Outlast is a pretty cool game, I think. Uh, I'm going to continue it pretty soon. That's my new monitor, the Asus. It's a 144Hz mo gaming monitor. It's so smooth. So much better than that old 60Hz HD TV I have sitting over there. Those are my new Sennheiser HD 558s. Amazing headphones. They're not top of the line or anything, but they, they have really good sound quality. They're much better than my cheap uh, gaming, my cheap gaming headset that I had last. That is a mod mic, Antlion mod mic. It's really cool. It allows you to essentially do it right there. You can attach it to basically any pair of headphones via a piece of adhesive on the actual side of the headphones and then the magnet attached to the microphone itself. Right there you have my MSI Twin Frozer 2 6950, Radeon 6950, 2 gigs of VRAM on it. That's my old graphics card that I got a couple years ago, which I've actually been using recently to help me render all of my videos because as it turns out, this main concept codec that I use to render my videos no longer supports the more recent generations of consumer graphics cards, both AMD and Nvidia. Um, the, the company, Rovi, there at the bottom, has simply discontinued support for the GPU acceleration. So if I simply throw my 6950 into my system, I can use that with the GPU acceleration feature of this codec in order to render my videos probably more than twice as fast as I normally could with my processor alone. So it's very helpful. It's unfortunate that they've discontinued that support, but what are you gonna do? Here you can see the inside of my case. I have a Cooler Master Half X. It's a full-size tower case. Really big, lots of room. Really good airflow in there. You've got all my hard drives there, my SSD. You can see my cool my Corsair H90 cooling my processor there, and my 16 gigs of RAM over there on the right. There's my current uh, Gigabyte 7950, three gigs of VRAM. You can see the three fans on there. Surprisingly. It's actually quieter than my 6950, and I hope to be ordering a second one sometime later this year because the price has actually come down quite a bit. Uh, you can see my Corsair 850, 850 watt power supply there, Mo semi-modular, very nice power supply, been lasting me a long time. You can see the little cover on my case there, it's got power reset and then a fan LED power button which unfortunately can only be hooked up to the front fan to the way I have it configured, but as you can see there, I can turn it on and off through that if it's bothering me for any reason. Got a few USB ports, eSATA, Firewire, stuff like that. A basic DVD, CD, burner, and reader drive. And uh, there's that old HDTV that I was talking about. You probably saw that in the last video if you watched that. It's a 60 hertz, it, it served me well, it's good. It's got pretty good uh, picture in terms of like qual color quality and everything but it's pretty dated um, so here let me go back to my desktop and load up Sony Vegas you can kind of see what my editing setup looks like this is a little preview I'm gonna give you of the Daisy video that I should actually be putting up later this week 
I haven't really made any DayZ videos. I haven't really played DayZ um, in a very long time, which sucks because I know you guys really like my DayZ content more than anything else. It's the main reason that you're here. I understand that. Um, and I miss the game, you know. I it, It's such an amazing game that I just kind of got burnt out on. Wasn't really interested in it for quite for a pretty long time. But I've been playing it a lot lately with uh, friends and clanmates. And if, you, if you're subscribed to Buys on YouTube, you've probably seen his most recent video that I'm in. It's, it's pretty, it's a pretty good laugh. Next I'm going to go ahead and open up my recording drive so that you can actually see all the footage that I have backlogged. That I, This is all usable footage. This is footage that I've gone through and decided, yep, there's some funny, hilarious, cool stuff in these recordings that I can totally put into a video, but I just haven't gotten around to editing it yet. And there's just hours and hours and hours of footage from all sorts of different games. Um, there's lots of Wasteland footage, as you can see there. I've got some good DayZ footage that I've gotten recently, so there's lots of that to go around. Um, there's still tons of hidden footage that I haven't put up yet. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at what my computer setup looks like. Um, I do apologize for the wobbly sort of video. I'm using a stabilization feature in Sony Vegas similar to what YouTube uses. I figured you would probably prefer that much more than my shaky unsteady hands so yeah so now if you're interested I would like to tell you guys a little bit about the vac vacations that I took over the summer and about what's been going on with me and you know stuff like that so here you can actually see Old Faithful in Yellowstone National Park out in Wyoming we took a trip up to Montana to for about a week to see my cousin's wedding and we sort of just made it into an actual vacation you know we stopped by um, some landmarks here and there and got some pictures and some video and everything so don't worry I'm not gonna bore you with any historical facts or anything like that it's it's all on Google just go to it's on Wikipedia and stuff not hard to find um, it's a water geyser you know <laughs> not too much to talk about really but I thought I thought I did a pretty good job of recording this actually because you can't see it but there's like hundreds of people watching this well maybe not hundreds but like a hundred there's tons of people to my right and tons of people to my left and there's like a dozen people right in front of me and I was trying so hard to hold the camera perfectly still and cut their shoulders out of the frame and everything I thought I did a pretty good job but anyway um, I suppose this would actually be a good point to update you a little bit on my channel and everything. Uh, I know I disappeared again. I apologize. I screwed that up. Um, apparently I needed a little bit longer of a break than I realized. Uh, as I said in that uh, update video, god, months ago, I uh, it, it, YouTube started feeling like a job. Like I had to do it in order, like it was just a requirement. You know, it was something that, okay, well it's this time of the week, I haven't put up a video, I need to make something. You know, even if I didn't want to. And I think that showed in the quality of the content that I was putting up, and it, it just wasn't fun anymore. So I felt the need to take a step back and just kind of ignore it for a while. Um, and it, it seems to have worked. Now that I'm back, I'm like, I'm happy to be editing this right now. I'm excited to be editing the DayZ video that I'm making right now. And I'm happy to just be playing DayZ again, and I'm live streaming again, and it just, it feels fun again you know and there's as far as I'm concerned there's no point in doing this at all if I don't enjoy it if I'm not having fun with it so anyway um, what you're seeing now uh, we took a scenic raft ride on the Yellowstone River we got, saw some ducks and other wildlife uh, there were some deer actually we ended up seeing a pretty big buck that you see there in the picture it just kind of watched us as we floated down the river we stayed at a resort called Chico Hot Springs for one night, and while we were there, we did some. There were they had horseback riding and natural hot springs pools, stuff like that. And while we were there, at any given time, I think there was like four wildfires going on. Um, this is a couple pictures of 
I think the biggest one that was happening at the time, all that, none of that's cloud. That's all smoke from the fire. It actually came down the mountain and affected the resort a little bit because when we woke up, there was like a, a smoky, sooty feel to the air in the, in the hotel room. And it was so big, in fact, that we think that this that's actually the same fire. Um, this picture was taken from Yellowstone National Park, which is like 100 miles away. So just to give you an idea of how big that fire really was. And right here we got the sun setting behind some hills, also a Yellowstone lake with some other wildlife fires uh, in the background. And here you can see the aftermath of some of the older fires. The air and everything out there is so dry that it doesn't take much at all for these fires to start. Um, one dry, dry tree struck by lightning or just any small fire can make it all just go up in flames. I recorded this during a short three-day vacation at a beach at Lake McConaughey uh, during the summer. Just in case you don't understand what's happening, the truck on the right is stuck in the deep sand. The sand is really, really soft because the water in the lake has receded so much that we're practically sitting on the lake bed basically right now. So the sand is very, very soft. It's basically like really soft snow, so it's really easy to get stuck in. In fact, that the van that I was in, that I'm record, that I was recording this from, was also stuck. And uh, obviously, the truck on the left is trying to pull him out. In the end, he's unable to, so they decide to push the truck back down and find another way up. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about my vacation. I uh, will try to get that Daisy video up soon hopefully within the next couple days and uh with that i will see you later <laughs>